Good evening and welcome to Trend Talk, news and views from the fashion capitals with me, Laura Barton. Today's breaking fashion news is the arrival of the shearling coat. According to recent reports, the key to mastering this trend is through a basic appreciation of canine crossbreeding, and in particular the pioneering work of Australian dog breeder Wally Conran, inventor of the Labradoodle. Inspired by the simple thought of combining the low shedding coat of the Poodle with the gentleness and trainability of the Labrador, Conran and his invention unwittingly heralded a new voluminous age, a world of cavoodles, broodles, schnoodles and cockapoos. And while this season may not require a canine accessory, scientists have discovered that wearing a shearling coat has much in common with walking a Labradoodle or one of its oodly brethren. Anyone parading around town in a black shearling Isabel Morant gilet will be met with the same effervescent response. Wide-eyed cooing, bursts of adoration, and the hands of strangers ruffling through their woolly coat. However, experts advise against ever letting this admiration grow unruly. Walking to a party in a full-length white and black Mew Mew coat has the same effect as carrying a puppy. But discipline starts early with outerwear. Allow three or four minutes of fussing upon arrival, and thereafter carry yourself more as Labrador than Poodle. Less corkscrewed loopiness, more well-trained gentility. Of course, there are exceptions. Bellstaff's handsome shearling parker demands a glint of something mischievous beneath the sombre-hued exterior to suggest the wearer might be a wolf in sheep's clothing. Meanwhile, worn the wrong way, Prada's black and red shearling jacket could have onlookers mistaking you for some kind of art deco market trader. Wear this coat with poise, grace and a swan-like demeanour and on no account when selling oranges around Covent Garden. And finally, Gucci's pink shearling coat is so gloriously preposterous that it should only be worn in the knowledge that, in doing so, one is performing a public service. As you float through the park, be aware that you will be regarded not as a woman bundled up in her warmest jacket, but as the first hopeful glimpse of spring, a soft plume of cherry blossom joyous against the wintry sky. I've been Laura Barton, and this has been Trendwatch.